Pelican River Forest Project. Yeah, Joe is on the phone. Good morning, Joe. Hi, Joe. What do you got for us? Well, I, I just want to say what a haunting deal this is. This is an amazing feat mm -hmm. to pull this all together, particularly mm -hmm. with the intransigence of the Republicans who just, they had one person who anonymously um, uh, uh, voted no on, on acquiring this using the uh, stewardship, uh, the Nelson Stewart funds to uh, um, make this go forward. And still, Tony, like dancing like Fred Astaire, was able to make this work. So there's two points I wanted to make about this. First mm -hmm. off, for the number of people he, he had to work with, the organizations, to do this little nimble dance to get this land saved. And it was the Conservation Fund, the Richard King Mellon Foundation for a Bridging mm -hmm. Loan, individuals and foundations, uh, federal forest legacy programs from the Fish and, National Fish and Wildlife, and even Walmart's Acres for America program. So wow. it's like all these wow. different people we had to work with. And the second thing I wanted to make the, the point is that they talk about this this land being pulled away and, you know, you won't be able to develop it because it's got these conservation easements on it. Well, apparently there was only one township within this, this area of this, this Pelican River forest area that's been approved of that had a, that was um, resisting it. So they worked with them to figure out a, a way to make this work they did. for that one mm. particular community. And, and interesting all the other townships within the easement have language in their land use plans that support what is being offered by this, including industrial forest for sustainable harvest and recreational um, opportunities. And that's all part of their those townships put together their long-term vision, and they wanted both of those things. They wanted the sustainable harvest on, on forestry land that would be available and the recreational opportunities. And the recreational opportunities are gigantic. I mean, they, they are going to be hooking together these snowmobile trails and ATV trails, which aren't necessarily my thing, but, boy, a lot of people up north really love them. And so mm -hmm. it's going to provide that recreation base that's going to be just great for people up there. So, you know, kudos to the guy for keeping it going not giving up and finding a way to make it work and um, the net result is that those communities will with those conservation easements as part of long-term planning will be just fine and it's something that they wanted because they indicated that they wanted it in their long-term planning so um mr fred astaire uh, <laughs> governor evers thanks for the nimble footwork and making this all happen yeah he thanks didn't let go he didn't let go of the whole issue you know no. he worked around them and he got he got this passed, and he and he worked with the town. By the way, the town is uh, of Monaco, and uh, and the person who held this up was Republican Senator Mary Felskowski. She held this thing up, and all she had to do was negotiate, uh, you know, exception around this town in order to you know allow the town to grow, and that's all. Right. That's all Tony Evers ended up doing. It, it is just a fantastic sit down deal. And do some work. Yeah. 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 Sit That's down right. And do the work to make it happen rather than sitting in the road and saying, no, 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 no. Because the ultimate is it's an incredible gift to the state and something as generations go by that we, we are going to be incredibly grateful that that was saved. So, Joe, hang on a second. Highlighting you guys. It's Joe, hang on a second. Sam, did you have a comment? Oh, uh, yeah. I was just going to jump in and say I uh, drove along Highway 45 and Highway 8 up there. Uh, pretty consistently for a couple of years, like every couple of weeks. It's a really beautiful area up there. Um, I've I've driven through this this town, Monaco, and all the other towns along Highway 45. Um, they're not they're not big places. They're not going to be like developed in a crazy way. So right. I don't know what uh, what exactly this this representative was all worked up about, but surely uh, it being a a new conservation area with uh, snowmobile trails and other recreation. Uh, being opened up even more so than it already was is going to be a boon to these communities up north. Right, right. Mm -hmm. It'll create jobs, yeah. new businesses. Yes, it sounds like a fantastic there's, there's time. money in recreation. Yeah. yeah, there's money in tourism, there's money in recreation, and, and they should be able to take advantage of it, of it in a wonderful way and still have the forestry uh, business going forward, which is also huge for jobs. So um, kudos to Fred Astaire yeah. slash governor Evers. <laughs> i love it down. all right well maybe we should start calling him that thanks yeah. joe thanks for the call and he was doing that some, out. some yeah. good tap dancing there yeah 